Going flashbang. Oh my. It's too, it's too bright. The out. What, what are you doing here? Um. Uh, why do you have a camera point on my face? Uh, we have a vlog to video. It's level three. Ah, oh, that's right. Ah, uh, yes. It has been many moons, friends. But after the longest level 4 lockdown that New Zealand has experienced, we are finally back in level 3. And with that, a little bit of my sanity because we got takeout available now. I got two places that I can think of for some takeaways today. We got Fort Green for some of the best pastries in Auckland. And then pastrami and rye for some of the best sandwiches in Auckland. It's, it's like 11 o'clock. We haven't eaten yet. This is going to be our breakfast. Let's go, I guess. Off I go then. Alright, it's a beautiful day to pick up some pastries from uh, from Fort Green. Miraculously enough, we found some parking just in a back street. Um, we got two two pan au chocolat and four almond croissants, or as the bag would say, two pain and four almond. Two pain, you know, like the rapper. Is that his name? No, no, it's T Pain. T Pain, the rapper. Um, we're gonna head to Pesharami and Ryan and pick up the sandwiches. So let's go. Okay, second stop. Oh, hi, Mr. Chinese. Uh, second stop from Ellerslie's finest um, pastrami and rye, our f one of our favorite sandwich shops. We got it. We I'm so hungry. Oh, the car's hot. The the fumes of these meaty boys are just emanating throughout the car. Oh, let's head home. I, I can't handle this any longer. Hi, Mr. Chengdis. Hi. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at the line? It's a KFC. Oh my, oh, come on. Oh. Ah, all right, welcome to our garden. Do you like the background? This is such a nice setup. But let's get into these beautiful sandwiches from pastrami and rye. And for those who didn't know, pastrami and rye is one of our favorites, like, to be honest, just one of our favorite places in general mm -hmm. to get food in Ellerslie. They do these delectable um, New York deli style sandwiches. Right, we got four flavors to share amongst us today. And let's just start with the most New York one, the Reuben, and then we got the patty melt, the breakfast sausage, a personal favorite, and the roast beef. Okay, I think we should start with the one that we haven't had before. Which one? Oh, the patty melt? The patty melt. Yeah, so basically it's, it's a beef patty, it's got the cheese um, on some two beautiful uh, breads. And it's got some onions too. Yep, uh, let's get into it. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. The onion. Oh yeah, the onion. Mm. And they also um, they give you chips and pickles. And pickles. To go alongside it. Love that. Like the patties are really nice and juicy. The cheese is very cheesy. And I, I always love their bread and pastrami mm. and rye. It's like perfectly toasted. It's buttered. It's always a messy time to eat there, but it's just part of the experience. Next. I don't know if you can see. Okay, yeah. We have beef footage. Ne 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 next sandwich. <laughs> it's in the name. It's in the name. Pastrami and rye, except this is a Reuben, which is basically pastrami, rye, cheese, sauerkraut. I don't believe it has Russian dressing, so is it really a Reuben? But who cares? Close enough. Yeah, very, very close enough. It's packed full of meat. Let's get into it. Oh. Mm. It's just all bangers. Bangers don't mash. Is that, is that the thing? Banger the mash! <laughs> yeah, old banger no mash. I have a playlist on Spotify called that. It's one of my favorite songs. Also, mm. oh, this is like, how much is it? It's 16. It's 16 dollars. Most pastrami sandwiches in Auckland are more expensive than that. Pastrami and rye, I feel like, just does the most value for your money. Pastrami sandwiches. Not only is it a chunky boy, mm -hmm. but it's just delicious as well. Most of the sandwiches were quartering because we're sharing it with our parents. Yeah. And he takes like two bites. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it takes least... me like five. <laughs> no, but then it's like you get to like save. You have to save the flavor like each bite, you know? I guess. <laughs> oh, do you want me to savor this chip? Yeah. By eating it in two bites. 
Yeah, I mean, if oh. it's like this. Oh, potato. Wow. <laughs> no, because then it's like, if you just one bite stuff, then that's the only bite you have. No, but it depends on what you what, on what you one bite. I didn't one bite the... No, but like no. you did two bites. Yeah, that's enough. Did you see how small it was? I also have a higher caloric demand. I just have a bigger appetite and mouth than you, alright? Alright, true. I have a pretty small it's like It's like asking Shaq. Like, oh, why do you take two... Why do you take one bite of this, like, quarter pastrami on rye? Like, because he's... That is shack. True. Okay, next up is their roast beef with a gravy. You know, this is a. Let's do the gravy pouring action. Oh, yes. Let that brown gold flow. Let's coat them bad boys. My sister's gonna dip it. Yeah, I'm a dipper. You, know, you got the roast beef laminations layers going on. Oh. oh this is like. This is, the, this is the epitome of ugly delicious. Let's take a bite. Oh man. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's Oh my. That that that's a winner. That is a winner. There's some gravy that let overflow. I, I do like uh, mopping up my sauces. You know. Mmm. Mm. Oh my. It's just the beefiest of beefs, you know? <laughs> it's like it's so tender as well. Yeah. All like if you can see like all these um layers in in the sandwich, it's like a very fatty and tender slice of roast beef. The bun as well, just a pillowy, buttery piece of bread. And that gravy, the brown sauce, it's just so deep. It just adds the, the extra beefiness mm. to the sandwich that just elevates it. I'm going off the rails on a gravy train. Shut up. Ozzy Osbourne. Rip Randy Rhodes. Last but not least, the breakfast sausage. It's a classic. It's just like a sausage patty, cheese, and egg. And yeah. of course, their pillowy bun. But yeah, when we split it in half, of course, it had that yolk moment because we love that. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there it is. Such a simple. Yep. Banger of a sandwich. Also, Loki just reminds me about I'm an elevated to the highest possible level. No, yeah, sausage McMuffin. I reckon this would be great with some jam, but I don't wanna. Maybe not today. You know, I'll do it. Okay, get me some. I got, I got the strawberry jam. Okay, I'm excited. Wait, which one's mine? This. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Oh, actually, no. This. Wait, no. <laughs> no this Did you mix up the pieces? No, this is mine. You okay, stupid. Fine. I'm not that much of a snake. <laughs> okay, I, I actually don't know if anyone else does it. I know in the Philippines it is a thing, because you know, the sweet and salty, but like, you know in, in McDonald's when they give you strawberry jam, I don't know. Like, I'll have that with hash browns, you know. Yeah, you basically, strawberry jam. I mean, having jam with like savories isn't a new concept. I feel yeah. like this shouldn't be like too weird, because you know, like cranberry yeah. So, jam. So yeah, yeah, do let us know if you do this as well, because we want to know if we're weird or not. There it is. The strawberry jam and the... This is just a light coating. Yep. All right. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, the memories are bad. Well, not memories. We do this all the time. You know, it's just it's just sweet, salty, savory, fruity. Do, you know, there's the leftover gravy. There are no rules at this point, so... Mmm. That was, that was a meal. All right, those were some incredible, delectable, beautiful, schmexy sandwiches from Pastrami and Rye. Uh, a business worthy, more than worthy of your support during any time of the year, to be honest. It's on to the sweets. It's on to the, to the, to the Fort Green pastries. Let's I'm get excited. into it. All right, before we get into these Fort Green pastries, um, we're gonna make a coffee. Come, come inside, come inside the house. Don't look, don't look. I'm gonna blur this out so you don't see the messy kitchen. Huh, you can't see it. Um, this lockdown, I've noticed a lot of people have been missing takeaway coffee, but us, we made the, 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 the wisest of decisions before lockdown, it, it was unintentional, to buy our baby, our lockdown baby, the Breville Barista Express. Oh my goodness, this has been a lifesaver. 
Hi, Bear Sheen. This has been a lifesaver during lockdown. Such, such an incredible machine. So we've been making, learning how to make nice coffees. We're still working on latte art, but luckily enough as well, during level four, dear, dear, um, last lockdown video that we did, we also featured them. So if you want to see, know more about them, check that video out. Um, we've been buying our beans from dear, dear. Too much beans, like almost like a 500 gram bag every week. Let's make a flat white. Alright, this is where the wheels go off the bus. I'm still, still learning how to do some decent latte art. Oh, that's disastrous. Oh, that's okay. Like that's a lot passable. Of fern. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making a lot of ferns nowadays. That's all I can. That's all I can seem to make. I made an onion. The onion. <laughs> we have a special guest, <laughs> Bear Sheen, also known, aka, uh, the barista bean. Yes, she made the coffee apparently. <laughs> All right, this definitely won't take long because we know Fort Greene's pastries are elite. They do they do fresh breads as well, like baguettes, sourdoughs, other stuff, and some bomb sandwiches like oh, yeah, we yeah. mentioned. Yeah. Let's got my uh, flat white, my coffee from a. He's a bit of a barista. From dear dear. Oh. I'm also a bit of a, of a barista. I'm something of barista myself. First up, uh, pano chocolate. I mean, <laughs> the lamination on this is just. It's, it's just like a book. It's like a pastry book and you got the, the standard two sticks of chocolate in the middle. Pano chocolat or chocolatine as they say in French. Take a bite. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Oh my. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my. It's oh my. so buttery. And the chocolate, it's like a dark chocolate, mm -mm. but it's real good. Every bite of each crispy laminated layer is like <laughs> Just like crunch, 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 crunch. It's absolutely perfect. Mm. Especially with a coffee. I mean, you heard that crunch, that ASMR, pastry ASMR. Pastry ASMR. That could turn out really disgusting or really nice. Now it's time for the absolute icon that is the Fort Green almond croissant. The way it's oozing with that almond filling. Okay, let's just let's just bite into it. Yep. Mm. It just never gets old. How good. It's undefeated. That's what it is. It's undefeated. I have I have, I have yet to taste an almond croissant that can top this. Yeah. But if you know a, a better almond croissant, do let us know. To be honest, like most almond croissants, I'll eat it anyway. Oh yeah, like I'll probably like I eat croissants from Countdown. So honestly, I'm very easy to. Please. Countdown croissants are, oh my, Countdown <laughs> croissants. Honestly, like if, as as long as you're not like snobby about oh where's my lamination, or like where's my butteriness, like Countdown croissants microwave it for ten seconds. No, no, don't microwave it. Just put it in the toaster oven. Okay, oh, yeah, well, no, no, even microwave it. Like microwave it for ten seconds and eat it by itself. I tried New World and Pack and Save Croissants once and I was like, what is this? It's not as good. Are they not good? I mean, no, 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 but compared to like Countdown Croissants, they're not as good. Really? Especially when you microwave it, it's like, no. It's a bit too bready. Oh yeah, bready croissants. Just buy bread. <laughs> buy bread. Yeah, this thing will like straight up, like if you have one hole, depending on like your appetite, this could knock you out. Because yeah. it's just like, it's just intense in the best possible way. Oh, you sheen, you got <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> My final bite. I still have two more bites. That was the best bite. Because you got like the filling, the slightly buttery portions, and the tail of the croissant, mm. where all the all the layers of lamination converge into one just crispy symphony. It's a good Excellent. it's a good almond croissant tail. Alright, so. I've run out of things to say and we've run out of things to eat, so I guess we've... Unfortunately. I, I guess we've I guess this video has run out of time as well. But yeah, the, the times that we live in right now, it is more important than ever to be, to be going out there and supporting your local businesses. Vote with your dollar, friends. 
I mean, you know, whatever it is. If you want KFC, if you want McDonald's, fine. I ain't your mom, all right? I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but if your favorite bakery or if your favorite cafe gets redeveloped into another Gongcha or KFC because they get bought out by the big corporations, then then that's your problem, all right? I, I, I'll, 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 I'll keep on supporting my businesses. Yeah, so excellent food day today. So that was pastrami and rye and then ending things with Fort Greene. It's good to be filming back again. Uh, I haven't filmed in a while. Um, I've just been playing Minecraft. Too much my oh my I should should I include B footage of my talent in No, no one cares about your mind. It's so nobody cares. And yeah, that'll do for today's video. Um hope you enjoyed another one of our food and travel videos here in Auckland. I haven't said it in so long. It feels so good to say those words again, but uh see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>